Hello everyone. Welcome back. This time, the Stalker 2, part of Chernobyl. Now this is my first real entry into the Stalker games. I have played Call of Pripyat in the past, but it was maybe for an hour or two. I was much younger. Didn't really grab me at the time as much as I feel like it would now. But I've always been very interested in these games, and they've influenced so many other titles and forms of media that it's inevitable that a new game will definitely be on my radar. I played the Metro games, you know, Metro Exodus especially was great, and the first one, 2033. Last Light was fun too, for the most part. And so, yeah, what is there more to say aside from I'm fresh eyes, fresh mind, and coming into this game fresh. Now, I did fix my uh, graphic settings in the game for just a brief moment, skipped through all the opening cutscenes, got to the first part where you can actually move your character around, and just stayed there while fixing the settings, and now we're here to go. So, once more, I come into this, not knowing too much about Stalker 2, and as opposed to my previous playthrough of what you guys might have seen Call of Duty, I let that go for the full duration of it. But this one, we are going to keep this one a bit more episodic, right? Let's get to it. Stalker 2. And of course, we're going to play things on Veteran. Let's get to it. I don't really have much experience with these games. But they've always intrigued me. The design, the gameplay philosophy. And they always seemed more like a... Kind of like a Fallout game. But with a bit more realism to it. And of course, we're going to play things on the most difficult difficulty setting, just cause. What is that? What I do understand from the lore is that typically the stalkers are people who are kind of like treasure hunters. They go into the zone full of like anomalies and whatever other creatures they may be to try and get some loot. If a powerful emission were to occur, we would... Listen, the zone has remained stable for years. Besides, we didn't establish the most advanced institution in human history without first guaranteeing its safety. As the head of the Scientific Institute for Research of the Chernobyl area, or Circa for short, I believe the wonders that we will bring to the world far outweigh the potential risks. How big are these risks exactly? <laughs> the zone reveals a whole new world. We can stick with the old one, fearing change. But tell me, wow. do you want our descendants to remember us as cowards? That looks amazing. Or as those who dared to venture forward to a new, better humanity? I realize it might be quite dark for you all. So I'll turn up the uh, brightness setting once we do get on over to being able to do that. The injured were evacuated. I remind our listeners that a similar incident happened in our region quite recently, ruining homes and livelihoods. However, city officials urge people to stay calm, assuring them the situation is totally under control. Nightmare scenario. Whoa, gameplay? Okay. Wow. Look at how this looks, man. Are you alive back there? Yeah, I'm, I'm okay. Zone is really raging today. See that? It was a hell of a blast. The hell is that? I can't remember one. So fierce. Are we uh, close? Uh, Kind of. <laughs> I 
Huh. Dead bird. The central checkpoint could be on alert after the emission, but there's another way in. Crack in the wall to the left of the fault. Bugger off. Hope you didn't lose your secret artifact along the way. I see. If it was outside the zone for too long, it will have lost its anomalous energy. <clears throat> but I've got this shiny metal thing to recharge. So the shard we picked up was the artifact, right? We have a gold mine here. Sector 9, visual detection of the vault. I say again, Sector 9, visual detection of the vault. Show me what you found. What the hell is this? I've seen artifacts taken from the zone before. They always burn out and fall apart real fast. But this one? This one is not from the zone. Oh, I bet. Where'd you find it? In my laundry basket. <laughs> I'll get it. Who do you think you're talking to, huh? You have any idea what this scanner cost me? If it's not an artifact, it's gonna blow us all to hell! I won't let my hard work come to nothing because of you. I won't let you flush it down the shit up. <laughs> <laughs> that's right, that's right. This stone owes me a new home. We gotta move. So, the way I understand it, the stone kind of crash landed into our bathroom <laughs> and uh now he's doubting if it's an actual artifact is this a protagonist from the previous game the guy i'm playing or is this is a totally new character get to the scientist bunker nehoda will explain how to proceed with the scanner he's waiting for you good luck To the scientist, give him the scanner. I see. All right. Topaz scanner. So, this is where I did end up at. This is the only portion I've played. I've not pushed forward into there or there. This is the only part of the game I have reached. Let's see. Let me uh, turn up the brightness real quick for you all. All right, that might be uh, that might be a bit better. So yeah, let's move on. I do want this game to be quite dark, relatively, just because it adds the atmosphere. Use L to activate flashlight. I did mess around with the keys, so I know that this middle mouse button also does it. Use that left if to sprint. Alright, to hold the sprint. I should change that to toggle. What is that? That looks crazy. Not sure if I should be trudging around in the mud too much here, but may it work. One problem with FSR though, frame generation, it does induce a hair of input lag. But we'll work around it. We'll work around it. The extra frames it gives is very much worth it. I think we go in here, right? Seems to be. Enter the sewer tunnel. Ammo? Med kit pick up. We're prone? Oh, you just have to open the radial menu. Knife this. I bet. Yeah. Just to get that out of the way. Oh shit! What did I do? Wrong key. I'm used to pressing Q to swap back to my last weapon. <laughs> oh 
flashlight on. Unexpected. Ooh, you can lean? That's crazy. Proceed forward, though. What is my walk button? Oh, I can lean. Ooh. All right. I see, I see. This game is crazy in file size. 150. Better be worth it. Some items can be damaged or destroyed with weapons. You can peek it. Quick swap? There you go. Much like ready or not, I'm kind of used to uh, checking out if. There's a trap or not. Let's see. Flashlight off. The firearm in your hand. Is right click to aim. I supposed to take contact here? Looks like I can't. Oh my god. What's that? Oh. Okay. Light back on. So yeah, these games have always been very intriguing. Oh. Dead body? Search. Ooh, inventory system? I did not realize that. I assume this is my inventory. Oh, 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 wait. No, no, no. Am I... Wait, I am reading this right, right? Up. All? Ah. What is this? A pocket personal computer version 2.0 in zone functions as a navigation tool. Where do I put this? Not sure which slot it's supposed to go into. Oh. Where did it go? Where did it go? Oh, there you go. Okay, now how do I equip it? We'll figure it out. Open PDA. Press P. Ah. Ah, interesting. I also can press M, I assume, for map. Yep. This is the open world. Very interesting. Main mission, go through the sewer tunnel. This is where we came in through. Right? Copy that. Can't see shit, man. Crosshair is huge in this game. I kind of don't want it. I think I'm going to remove the crosshair. Ooh, another one. We got two weapons now. So I take it. Take all. We're going to remove the crosshair, boys. There, make it more realistic. Immersive. Check out this one side. Press Q to quickly use a med kit or hold Q to apply a bandage to a wound. What's a diff? Seems like this brings me out. What's the other way? What the fuck is that? So I had to open my inventory. You should always have medkits and other consumables at hand in the zone. Use right click to assign items to quick access slots so you can grab them by using Q or E, by holding Q or E. Well, let's see, we'll figure that out later.
Oh, this brings us to where we were. Okay. Dogger 3, we've got a bridge at the Dugal. The bunker's off. Another ground team is on the way. Does this game have prone? Wow. Very metro. Feels like Harry C to say that. <laughs> Considering these games came out first, but that's the vibe I'm getting here, folks. Look at that. Lovely reflection. Oh shit. Contact already. What the fuck? What the fuck? Holy shit! It's still alive. Oh my god. Oops, wrong heel. Q. Oh my goodness. That thing took so much shots to die. What on earth? These monsters are a lot crazier than the ones from Metro. Keep the light off. How do I remain undetected? I do have the game on the difficult uh, setting. Oh. That means... There's radiation over there. The signs certainly seem to indicate so. Check our map. What is this? Go here and go to the mission. Yep. Creepy house. Creepy village. Let's see. We got like three main houses. Two sheds here to the right. Three sheds. Check out the first one. Do it inside. We are uh, starting to get low in ammo though. I don't know how much the flashlight detection actually makes things for the enemy. Like, does having my light on means I'm easier to detect for both enemy humans and oh, and anomalies or monsters, as you call them? Why did I pull out my knife automatically? In here. There's light over in the house. Ooh. Ooh. That ammo. Did I break it open? Yes, I can. Very nice. It's not the uh, 545, though. Need more ammo for my AK. Let's see. Check this house out. One, two, two more. Now I'm not, and I will never claim to be great at video games. But I do like the challenge of playing games on difficult settings and i feel like for games like these it's very appropriate for things to be not as not as easy to figure out you want the challenge in these kind of games no or am i mistaken oh fuck i keep on pressing that goddamn button you know what we're gonna change the keys right now it's kind of ridiculous do not have Q and E be your lean. These type of games, right? It's like in every game that is lean. An E is so easy to hit by accident, right? So open up our inventory here. This does it shoots the same caliber. Just a bit more damage. 
range. Then we're using this then for sure. Did I just waste ammo? No. Okay. So there's no mag retention these uh this game, it seems. Which I guess does fit. It's not meant to be like a super simulation type weapon. Rather type game for weapons. Where you have like ammo retention for your mags. You're not sure what I mean. It means like if I reload with like a half empty mag, that half empty mag will either be lost or stowed back into my inventory. Oh wow. Look at that. Grass over there. I assume that's just wind, not some weird anomaly. You'll never know in these games, man. You'll never know if something like that is weird, invisible presence. Oh, I almost pressed it again. Yes, very much like take that. I don't know if this house is pregnable. Let's go to the main one. This definitely seems like a side objective right here. Interesting. Oh, it's a mere location on the way to the objective. Doesn't seem to be a side quest per se, but let's try and make an entry here. Ooh. already. Where were they? Oh, something's sploshing around in the water over there. What? What were they shooting at? Is there a monster that came out of the, uh, the lake or something? Took him out. Could have been. And definitely here splashing around. Nothing for now. Let's uh, proceed towards that bunker. Is that the objective? Yes, it is. No fall damage, please? Yeah. Good. Ready for the fight. I just do not want to have it happen out here in the open. Oh, they are fucked. Who killed these guys? I didn't even see. I didn't think they would get wiped immediately. Did they die to the bird? I don't think it'll be that easy, but I'll figure it out. Got the OBJ. So the way I like to play these games is I really do love to immerse myself in them. And part of that is being aware of the different factors that would affect you in real life. I don't know if flashlights affect your detection rate here by the AI. But, I would assume they could, and which is why I'm being very careful about my flashlight usage and my just white light. But yeah, because, you know, in real life, white light discipline, your flashlight discipline is very important. And if this was PvP, it'd be important here too, right? You do, oh, there, there's a hatch. You do not want to kind of signal yourself coming around the corner with a flashlight on. 
Do I have to be barehanded? There. Just need to find the space for the prompt. This game had a massive damn um day one patch. Which was basically the whole game. Wasn't even really much of an update, if not just a complete refile. Ooh. Could definitely be contact here. I wonder, can you shoot while yeah yeah. I was checking if if you were close to a wall, if you would be allowed to still raise your weapon. Oh, it seems like not. It seems not. If I have a shorter weapon, will it allow me to raise my weapon further? All right. With a AK, like the 74U here, I can still ADS up to this point. But if I swap to this, I still can. Okay, so it doesn't really matter. There's a set distance for all weapons. What the fuck happened here? Doc. Take the mads. The mad scenes. Took him out. Known to be a gunshot. Hold up. Weapon. Seems like a 416. I'll go that way first. Alright. Open space left. Door front. Let's go get the weapon first. Deal with the uh, smaller threat for now. Four one six. Petro Yerkin. Oh, it's got the whole uh, kind of like the Resident Evil Four inventory Tetris, which I always do like. Water. Take all this. Hector helps to reveal nearby I. Artifacts. All right, let's swap out our uh, our weapons here. We'll definitely take this. Definitely take this. Yep. Crazy to see a four one six here. HK seems like they're. Really exporting their product, huh? Where we left. It was clear. Good loot. Nothing else. No way to prone, right? Am I mistaken? I don't think so. Seems clear. Anton Nehoda. Is this our man? <laughs> Open PDA. Chat with a technician. We got some notes to read. Memo dated 725. Volushin, as project leader, I'm ordering you to remain in the bunker until we receive the suits from the Institute. Safety comes first. Regardless of any PSI radiation coefficients you might have detected, if you venture into that cave one more time, I will kick you out personally. First out of the cave, then out of this project. Chat with a technician. Soldier guide. Dr. Nahoda, yes, it's all on my laptop. How long will these coordinates be up to date? Until the next mission, so that guy of yours should move his ass. There's someone at the bunker. That must be the man, Herman said. Me? But they died very recently. All personal. This is a soldier's memo. This is the soldier's body in the tunnel. Um.
Okay, you have a diary. Out of the frying pan into the fire, I've returned after three years of service in real hell to cool off, quietly trading dummies, the cheapest artifacts, burnt out after being taken out of the zone by some lucky stalkers, drinking in my smoke-filled apartment, staring at the TV as if it were a window. And everything seemed to be going according to plan until my flat got blown out to smithereens one night. Anomaly, right in my kitchen. Wrecked a little. I had and left behind another dummy. Only this time it was different. A special anomaly, special dummy, and, if a certain Herman is to be believed, special money if I manage to recharge it with its scientific gadget. The catch is I'll have to venture into the zone to do it. I've heard enough stories to avoid the zone at all costs, but it decided to reach out to me. Well, it's my time to pay a visit. It didn't get any worse. As my demoted commander said, if you're born a hang, you'll never drown. Hmm. Well, seems like lore-wise, what's happening here is our guy is former military. And uh, what I can understand is that I guess artifacts which are kind of shards of power that hold anomalous power. Once you take them out of the zone, this uh, entire map, they start to lose their power. They start to lose energy, right? It drains from them. And they become dummies after they're done. But this one seems to be special because it came out of the zone to him. What is it? Any updates? The goat is dead. So are the other scientists. Stop freaking out and tell me where the data is stored. Find his laptop. The coordinates should be in there. I heard some small rumblings on. Lights on. These doors cannot be accessed just yet. Slow is smooth. Smooth is steady. And steady is relatively fast enough. Yeah, this guy's got nothing. Can I open this door? Nada. Nada. There it is. Damn. Windows 98. Hey, Nagoda. What's up? Have you met Herman's client yet? Tell him a new mission means new coordinates. A new coordinates means a new bill. <laughs> Nagoda's dead. I'm Mr. Client. Whoa. That's a hell of a mess you got there, boys. Well... Screw that smart-ass bastard. I never liked him anyway. Hold on a sec, Mr. Client. Did Herman at least tell you what to do with the coordinates? You tell me. Remind me. Holy fucking cow. Will you let me eat in peace for once? All right. Follow the coordinates and stick your scanner into the ground. And then back off. When it's all done, you pick it up. Got it? If not, that's your problem. I'm not a damn help desk. So long, Mr. Client. Her? Do you have the coordinates? I hope you do. Things are about to get a little more complicated from here. Good thing it's been a walk in the park until now. I'm ready to bugger off. First, find the detector. This is a mobile lab. The scientists ought to have at least one. I've already got a detector. Oh, yeah. You'll need to acquire an artifact to shield yourself from a scanner's radiation. If you don't, you might end up joining the Goda. How? Find an anomaly. After the emission, it shouldn't be that difficult. Then use the detector's signal to navigate it. If the stalkers have figured it out, I'm sure you can too. After that, attach the artifact to your belt and go plant the scanner. Just try not to get killed in the anomaly. Alright, use the scanner to find the anomaly or the artifact. 
Oh, radiation. Not the type we want. And then, strap it onto us, and it will kind of shield us from... Very careful here. Slowing down. Where is it? Go wild now. Oh, there it is. There it is. If you want your artifacts to work, you have to place them in a specific equipment slot. Oh my god! Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! What the fuck? It's invisible! Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh, I'm trying to reload! Die, 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 bitch! Die, bitch! Die, bitch! Oh no! That fucking thing! Load last save, yes we will. Oh my goodness, what in the vagina face was that? Alright, so now I know. I'd like to pull out detector. this uh, detector. Oh shit, oh, I stepped in the fucking thing. Where is he? Hear him. Come on, boy. Oh my goodness! How the... Oh my god! These things are tanky as fuck. This is a difficult game. I've already got a detector. I need kind of know where it is. Ow, 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 oh. fuck. Find an anomaly. After the mission, it shouldn't be that difficult. Then use the detector signal to navigate it. If the stalkers have figured it out, I'm sure you can too. Go plant the scanner. I hit him, I hit him. Oh, my goodness. My goodness. We're gonna keep moving. He's not gonna hit me. Oh my goodness. Ah, fuck. He has stun grenades. Come on. Where are you, buddy? I kill him? I got him! Fuck yeah. Alright. Fucking bitch. Get teabagged. That's right. Woo! What this? In here? Slug, a common artifact found in acid anomalies. When hit by a heavy object or dropped into a hard surface, it quickly hardens. It protects me from radiation, I assume. I don't have a gas mask yet. It's, see, it's here. What the fuck? I thought I heard steps right there. I guess it was the, uh... Corpse kind of interacting with geometry. Mission is here. Man, I need a better way to deal with these motherfuckers. They are real threats in this game. In Metro, you can kind of take on a bunch of them. They are tanky, but like, that was crazy. Input delay doesn't help either as well. Shit. I could take their gas mask. Is that possible? Okay. 
Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. Get out of there. Way too much radiation. Is there a way to pop the anti-rad I took? What do I do here? Anti-radiation drugs. Use. Interesting. I wonder if this stops time. When I pull up my inventory, does it stop time in the real world? No, it doesn't. This does. At least slows it down. But stay away from the rad. Oh, shit. What is that? Here's something to the right. This must be where my scanner goes down to. Bugger off. I'm getting away. I'm getting away. Oh, I'm okay. Yeah. Is uh, charging always this noisy? No, but that rock of yours is pretty unusual. Check the scanner quick. Is it charged? Ah, uh, how to do that? Take this scanner. Oh, the scanner in front of me, I see. There are all these charges around, man. I feel like I might get electrocuted if I step over it. Nope. Calm down. I've got some time left. Heading for the next spot. Can I step on that? Or will I die if I do? So it seems like I can maybe cut through here or go around to the right. I'm not sure if that's going to be possible, though. Might have to just walk through this. Walk around it, at least. That did make lots of noise, though. be very fair. Does worry me. Oh, shit. Contact. You shot grenade. What the fuck? What the fuck? Hostiles already here. Angos. Oh shit. I'm whiffing. I'm gonna save the AK for the big boys. That guy better be down, right? Okay, now he is. Grenade! Oh my goodness. Is there a way to go semi-auto in this game? Oh shit. Oh my goodness. Is he gone? Oh shit. I'm hit. Uh, Z. When do I use a bandage as compared to the med kit guys? Not too sure. Somewhere around here. Alright, let's see what I can drop. I definitely don't need this second AK. That's for sure. I am quite poisoned. With the sickness, the radiation sickness. 
does seem to be. Boomstick. We'll take the ammo for sure. Next OBJ. Forward. Unto Dawn. Man, there's so much radiation in these parts. I don't even have a mask. What the fuck was that? The hell? Whoa. What am I hearing, bro? Time to plant this scanner and get out of here. What the fuck? Fuck is that? Oh, oh! I'm getting hit by some. I better heal. What the fuck? Show yourself, fool. What the fuck? Must be some weird anomaly. Can't even get outside. Is it stuck at the door frame? Oh my god! What the fuck is happening? Alright, this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna keep mobile. We're gonna look for this fucking thing. Oh, what's in here? Is that the fucking haunted house or some shit? What the fuck was that? We are gonna bugger off. Fuck that place. Whatever that was, fuck that. Damn. Some uh, wrenches up in here. I fully expect once I place this scanner. I'm going to take contact. <sighs> All right. Let me pull back a bit. That barge. I'm going to return to that once I know later in the game, how to deal with that. I will come back to you, sir. What the fuck? A while ago it was electricity, now it's flames. Herman. Some... Solder's premium cordons smell like a scam. Sort of ardent energy here. Oh shit. We'll find out soon. Point three, the third point. Unpretentious stash. This will come in handy on my way back. Start scanning at point three, just forward of me. All right, let's do that. Holy radiation, bro. Just one spot left. Do I have much of a choice? I've got nowhere to go back fuck? to, Herman. What's that? Over and out. I do not even want to find out right now. Very eldritch happenings. Let's uh, eat some of this food. Oh, it does heal me up as well. Herbs. Such a barren landscape. Harrowed. By the radiation, by the anomalies. 
by the energy that is so defiled to this place. Is that a... That's an airship. One of them... Blips. This seems like the third zone. Abandoned? That's the initial... Theory? Ammo, no. Yeah, break these open. They don't look like it, but... I yeah, know, it's steel. Can I break these? Make a trench? Nope. Guess not. That's the spot. But before that... Oh, vodka. Hell yeah. Let's check out what else is uh, around these parts of town. Corpse. Ooh. Ooh, a safe. Windows are unbreakable. Oh, I can come through this window. Not the other side. Nice. Very nice. Ooh. Safe, safe. 545. 9 by 19 FMJ. Is this what this uses? I'd assume so, right? Yeah, it is. Med kit. Bandage. Seems like my MP5 is broken, though, but... Still better than nothing, right? Lesser zone, this place is called. That's the region of it. I wonder if it'd be smart to leave something here. Just so that I have a bit more inventory space. I might leave the MP5. Actually, no. I'll leave. I'll leave the um, AKM, just because I already have an AK that shoots the same ammo. Did I leave any ammo here? I'm not sure I even have. Uh, I don't have that much to justify it. I'll keep my pistol on me. Yeah, I'll just leave the gun there. Keep the ammo. There and back again. Start scanning. Let's see uh, if I take a fight right after this. Will this trigger more of these abominations? It might just. So far, the game is very intriguing. Oh, cutscene. Like a proper one. What's that? Some kind of anomaly. Ooh. What? Tango. I see the scanner. Tracing for anomalous activity in radio signals. Situation unclear. You inside. You to the roof. Move out. I can take him. HQ, Bulat reporting. Bulat. Come in, HQ. Damn it. You melee him. No PDA detected. Someone here! Oh, oh, that wasn't me. That wasn't even me. Stalkers out there. Up the smoke. That smoke blooms fast. Suppress and bail, huh? Before I get shot in the back. Oh! Who's you? Uh, 
Jill. Jill, her friends. Chill out, Pedro Pascal. Oh. I guess they want to question me. Why I have a scanner. What the fuck? They didn't even take me. They just left me to die out here. What the fuck? Oh my goodness. What the f What in the Metal Gear? Some fireworks, huh? Who are you? Stalkers? I'm your guardian angel. Here's a bolt. Why the hell would I need a bolt? Take a look around. Oh, crap. Yep. Toss it into the anomaly, then while it resets, run like hell. Got it? Now go. Okay. Bolts can help you discover an anomaly. Determine its boundaries and even temporarily neutralize it. Use tab to open the radial menu and select a bolt with here. I think they throw a bolt. But they wanna exit out of here. Now that I think about it. That's the objective area. I left my weapon back there at the town. I wanna go back for it. That work? Oh my god, I'm dead. <laughs> Maybe I can't go back to the town where I left my weapon, and that's safe. But then again, it only was an AK, and I didn't really have ammo for it left in there. Do I still have my inventory? No, I don't. Fuck. I'm at 18 PSD. This is only for my pistol. Make it through. No, I'm getting pulled in. I'm getting pulled in. What the fuck? I threw it into the damn thing and something pulled me to the side. I must have entered the AoE of another one. I'm getting super skill issued right now. Cabin. That's the way I want to go. Okay. Now it's clear. Please. Oh. I see, I have to run for it. It comes back real quick. Ooh, I'm through. I'm through. I'm through. Who the fuck are you? I knew you could do it. Richter. Well, okay, I didn't really know, but I sure hoped you would. <laughs> How'd you get here without any gear? I was attacked while on a job. Oh, voice. I got hit in the head, and when I woke up, I was in almost nothing but my birthday suit. Voice active. You're lucky they didn't kill you right away. Dialogue options. You should stop by Zalisa and check up with the doc man, and talk to the bartender while you're there. See if he knows anything about your attackers. Yo. Squint. Damn it, man. Very Fallout feels. I love it. Very RPG. I can see myself getting hooked and immersed into this game. Hella. In the coming days. This is a town where I came from, no? Yeah. It means my safe was here. Oh, the guy is still here. He's got you nothing for me. Some scores, didn't you? Shit. The timing couldn't be any worse. Nothing on him. Well, the bastard shot him at point blank, then took everything, even the sensors. Whoa! Look at this guy's head. 
Now the entire lesser zone is gonna have to clean up this mess. Let me uh go get my weapon back. It's a broken MP5 as well. Oh no, it's the AK! I forgot. Nice. That's better than nothing. Don't have ammo for it much, but at least when I do find ammo, I have a weapon already. Okay, okay. I guess that was like the prologue, right? Why is your ass still here? Head oh. over to Zalicia and keep your mouth shut. Unless you want both of us killed. Head over to Zalicia. I guess it's that way. Cool. Need to throw a bolt into that. What the fuck? Have they a radio freak? Somehow. Yeah, this is the way. More oh, shots up ahead. Contact up there. Do I help these guys? Might need to. Earn their goodwill. Is that a gun? Ammo. I hit him. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh fuck, I'm dead. I'm kinda fucked over here, boys. You whiffed, bitch. What the fuck? How are they so tanky? I have two bullets. I have two bullets. I have two bullets. Why can't I take him? Why can't I pick him up? Jesus. Oh my goodness. I have two shots. Grenade! Oh my goodness. Need to get ammo. He's right there. He is right there. Oh my god, he can wallbang me. Got him! I wasn't really expecting any help. Come on over. Let's have a chat. Oh, thank goodness. Thank goodness. Easy peasy. Yeah. No problem. Why wasn't it picking up when I was trying to pick it up? That was crazy. That was crazy dumb. Crazy dumb. Screw you, game. So hard to track. Well, my gamer skills are obviously not uh, optimal either, but... <laughs> the uh, FSR 3 doesn't do me any favors in dexterity for aiming real quick. But hey, we made it out alive, and that's what's important. Taking all the loot we can. Pretty much dried out for ammo here. You fucked them up pretty good, eh? <laughs> I didn't expect anyone to step in for me. That's rarer than Mama's beats around here. Normally, folks in the zone just walk past other people's troubles. They've got their own shit to deal with. You are new around here, ain't ya? Uh, I am, to be honest. Yeah, I figured as much. But you have definitely taken out a few scumbags in your day. Thanks for having my back. I might be pushing my luck here, but could you lend me a hand with something else? Um... What are you doing here anyway? I could ask you the same thing, but I won't. The less we know about each other, the better. Loose lips and all that, you know? All right, let's hear it. There's four of us at the boiler house, not far from here. Squint, Richter, Gloomy, and myself. Squint is the leader. Richter is his right-hand man. And we just joined Spa... Uh, a group. Squint and Richter took off somewhere in the morning. And then me and Gloomy got ambushed by those bandits. I, uh... 
uh, managed to make a tactical retreat, but the bastards took gloomy. I don't know what they are doing to him, but I doubt they are throwing him a party. We need to rescue him and make those thugs regret it. Gloomy will find a way to return the favor. All right. How many of them are there? How many of those guys are there? About five, give or take. I have seen you in action. You can handle them easy. And if your conscience bothers you, trust me, they wouldn't have spared you or Gloomy if the tables were turned. All right, I'll do it. All right. I'll do it. Side quests. For Very Fallout-like. you rock. Don't worry, I won't just send you there empty-handed. I've got a stash close by. It's got everything you need. A gun, some ammo, Ooh. the whole shebang. Whatever you don't use, nice. consider it yours. Just make sure you've got Gloomy's back, all right? Yep. And I don't mean Fallout in the way that as if Fallout is the only RPG that does this. Obviously, post-apocalyptic vibes, that's all there. It keeps it similar. But also the fact that... When you talk to an NPC, it does the whole zoom in with the camera, it tracks them on their movement. A dialogue option, and even kind of like the UI of the, the text below, reminds me of it. That's not to say it stole it or anything, just, you know, inspiration is there, and... Those games have seemingly inspired each other, back and forth anyways, you know, from the older Stalker games and the older Fallout games that aren't like Fallout 3 before that, you know, when things were a lot different for that franchise. Yeah, this game is... Wow. Very immersive so far. The audio design is crazy. And I do understand that you know, this game, it had a very, very difficult development cycle. It's been in development for a while. What's that? This is the type of game, but you're just going to take things slow. It's part of the reason why I'm really going to break these up into episodes. We're going to be in here for a long journey, folks, if uh, you guys are still with me. And as compared to maybe some of my other Let's Plays where I've done Bloodborne back in the past. Um, I've done, obviously, as of very recent, you know, Call of Duty Black Ops 6. I'm going to keep things, I'm going to try and edit things a bit more, try and cut out a lot of like the, uh, kind of like the filler parts, but I will keep some exploration in there just because it's, I think it's part of the game. This will be a long playthrough, folks. A long ass one. I hope you guys are in here with me for the ride. Nothing in here. I had to break open the damn door for here, for this place. Nothing at all. That's just the way things are sometimes, right? No loot. Damn. Am I missing something? Nope, that's just it. That's just it. So yeah, do let me know how you guys think you want to see these episodes. You want to see them kind of chopped up a bit more? You want to see them a bit uh, raw? You no? Know? More raw with a bit less cutting up? But I do want to just you know, obviously provide gameplay that's very... Ultimately chill. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, there's like five of them there. Where the fuck did they come from? Are they shooting at me? They're not, no? We're, we're friends. We're friends. Where the fuck did they come from? Did they just spawn in? What are they shooting at? seem like friends. Were they supposed to be shooting at me while I loot and have now bugged out? What the fuck? How am I supposed to take the loot if y'all are shooting at it? Oh, they killed it. Hello there. Good work. I was very confused. How are they able to just walk through all this radiation without much of a fuss? Without any masks on. It's wild, brother. Wild. 
Is that the staff right there? No, it's on the chopper, it says. You can go around this way, huh? Okay, take everything I can. Everything I can. Oof. Did you make it? The mutants didn't get you, did they? They tried. Lost the zone for you. Take care out there. And, uh, try not to hit Gloomy, alright? He may be a son of a bitch, but he is still my bro. I don't have any radiation medicine, but it should go down over time. So I have an MP5. See what else I've got. Ah, oh, not much. Definitely not the best. Only an MP5 to work with. We'll make do. I wish I retained the AK and the uh, 416 I had earlier. Get to the boiler house. It seems like this is where the game opens up to the rest of the open world. Contact. In here? I thought I'd be safe. Oh, I see. This is where his partner is being held up. I have to save him. Conserve my ammo. There had to be one observer out here. What? There's one. That's two. Bandage up. Let's see. Hopefully they don't push me. Oh, he's up top. Oh, I can't see him. Oh dear. The input delay makes it hard to snap between targets as well. Alright, we're back then. Let's see what we can do about this now. Oh, I do have anti-radiation now. Drank. That just purged it entirely. Nice. Whoa. The vodka makes you deal with radiation better? It's crazy. That is kind of crazy. You two already. Oh, headshots. Oh, shit. How about, how about no? Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. I'm getting fucked. Oh, wrong, wrong thing to use. Fuck. I did not mean to drink alcohol. Now I'm gonna be even more fucked. He wall banged me. Crazy. That's one. Get a helmet on? Crazy. Another. Crazy. Fuck! Cover me! I'm gonna move! Throw a grenade. No, no, no! Get off the fucking lean, brother and what are you doing? Ow, fuck. Can't even see this guy. Meant to be a difficult game. We did choose a more- oh my goodness. We did choose a more difficult setting as well. That's four. Must be one more in there. Well, thanks for announcing yourself then. Flashlight isn't nearly strong enough, bro. I can't even see into there. I have stronger attack lights than that. Oh, it jammed. Alright. Should be able to see all the way to the back of that room with my flashlight on. But, apparently, they make very shitty lights. It's like I'm using a fucking cell phone torch. 
Oh my goodness. That almost got me. That should have been them. That's five. All right, what's up? Well, who sent you? Richter or that asshole Zorik? Zorik asked me to get you out of here. He Zorik. asked you to wipe his ass. That's what he did. You think those goons were brought down here by the emission? Jorik lost a wad of cash playing cards in garbage and figured he could hide out here. Well, the fucker wasn't completely wrong. They didn't get him. They got me. What you looking at? Expecting a reward? Check the togs. I'm just glad they left me my suit. They're very yellow teeth. Wait a sec. <laughs> they didn't take the detector. Those scumbags think they're too good to dive into anomalies looking for artifacts. Easier to shake down a loner on his way out. Assholes. You mean get set up? Jorik set you up? Absolutely he did. Jorik can miss a whole emission when he gets into cards. He won't stop until he loses his shirt and his underpants too. It's no use blaming him though. You wouldn't blame a flesh for grunting, would you? I wouldn't. But I might give him a good punch in the nose. I already have a detector. I've already got a detector. Well, congrats. Now you've got two. Do I look like a department store to you? Fine, fine. I left my backpack in the cave. Go have a look. If you find anything useful, it's yours. Unless the bandits beat you to it, of course. All right. Thanks for the help, stalker. But don't count on anyone standing up for you if you run into. Oh, I guess I can sell the second one. Asshole. Get over here! Chloe, you have no idea how glad I am. Ooh. Why don't you come a little closer? Let me get a better idea. Uh, I've got something I need to take <laughs> care of. So very hostile. Is there an auto sword? Yes, there is. Silence are very. We track down those assholes. One made a run for the post office. Bob's got the other. Should we off them both? First, find out where the money is that you can do them in. Not like last time. That's a main mission. Let's go over here. Go take his stash. In the cave. Ooh. Yes, sir. -y. Can I open this? Yes, I can. Oh. Okay. Ooh. Heal up. How about that? Oh, shit. Ow, what the fuck? I see. This might have to be a rush in and take it type deal. We're gonna go for it. I'm gonna send it and see if we can find the damn anomaly. Somewhere over there. No, I'm about to burn. I'm dead. I'm dead. Oh, I'm burning so much supplies just trying to get to this. I'm dead. <laughs> Where is it? Where is this artifact? It's uh, it's bleeping and stuff, but they can't figure it out. Much. All for. Ooh, what's this? Let me check. Ooh, what's this? <laughs> what do we got here? Invitation. Hey, Vovin, you won't believe the setup boys have here. Yeah, we lost Gravy in the process, but uh, evicting the previous tenants, he was a drag anyway. Goodbye for the send off. 
So yeah, hope you guys did enjoy the play through this time around. We, oh my goodness, there was all of this I missed. Well, that's a little bit of a, uh, what? It was all here? Okay, we'll save this for the next episode, but we've gotten a hell of a lot to loot to end things off here with. This is uh, exactly what we needed. But yeah, I'll be ending things here. Thank you very much. I'll see you guys in the next one. This was the opener of Stalker 2. Adios.